With a recent case of Ebola virus reported in Democratic Republic of Congo, the federal government said health workers have been alerted to intensify inward screening of passengers into the country at both in land and seaports. Nigeria was hit with the Delhi virus in 2014 when a Liberian, Patrick Sawyer, entered Nigeria with the disease, causing the spread of the disease, which led to many deaths. And to this end, Minister of Health Isaac Adewole hinted that Acting President Osibajo, during the Federal Executive Council meeting, has directed relevant government agencies to intensify surveillance to avoid a reoccurrence. But for us as a country, we need to now step up. Fortunately for us, Ebola is not indigenous to Nigeria. In other words, for us to have Ebola outbreak in Nigeria, it has to be imported. And so what we need to do is to step up preparedness at all our borders, land, sea, and air, to ensure that we could quickly identify a probable case, offer additional screening and quarantine, so that we do not get Nigerians infected with Ebola. Adewale maintained that no fund has been committed to exercise as government is using in-house resources to address the issue. On meningitis, the minister said government is winning the war against the scourge as cases have dropped in the last five weeks. We are happy to inform the nation that the number of new cases on a continuous basis has been dropping since the last five weeks. We are happy that we are getting almost to the end of the outbreak. Our main challenge now is how to wander those who are already infected. And so we have two medical teams in the two states that are mostly affected, Zamfara and Sokoto State. We have been able to improve the capacity of healthcare workers on ground to be able to make a diagnosis. The problem with meningitis is that it is, if you are not skilled, you may not be able to make a diagnosis. In the course of the meeting, Council approved 46.1 billion and 2.6 billion naira for the completion of over 116 projects in the water sector and infrastructure development in the federal capital territory, respectively. This project has gone through three or four different reviews for various reasons, but this is the final review, and uh, we hope that uh, within the next 12 months the project will be completed 100%. The project also has a landing strip for. Uh, emergency evacuation uh, and also for access to the to the dam site because it's in a very remote location in uh, Taraba State. Rehabilitation of 31 different roads, you know, short short spans of roads in five sectors of the area. That's the Karu Village Extension itself, the Red Brick Estate, the Primus Hospital, stroke the orphanage, and the Karu Hospital as well as the police station. Uh, as well as the road opposite the EFCC training center, and then of course the FHA phase two estate. The whole you know, purpose of this uh, project is to, when completed, provide infrastructural facilities for better you know, access and movement for the population of uh, Karu area and by extension the FCT. As government steps of effort to prevent the resurgence of the Ebola virus, the tax force before the Ebola working group, according to Nigerians, is to keep the disease at bay from the country.